the Dignitas team are getting in some last-minute practice. They're training for a Rocket League tournament in Canada, and a first-place finish would score them $50,000. Dignitas is an esports company managing eight competitive video game teams. It's just opened this centre in Newark, New Jersey. Many of these players train for over 10 hours a day and have thousands of online followers. Their goal is to build their, a bigger audience, and our goal is to help them get there. So we use our platforms, our producers, our staff, our management to train them, to help accelerate their careers, to get them more opportunities at events, at sponsorship-related sponsorship, uh, sponsorship opportunities as well. Jos van Meurs, or Violent Panda, as he's known online, has been playing Rocket League for nearly four years. He decided to drop out of school and go pro after winning $13,000 in a tournament. My family was like any other family. Stop playing games all day, just keep it to a limit two hours a day. That's what I had, I think. Uh, but yeah, when I finally got better at Rock League and I, they did see that I was starting to make money, they supported me all, all along the way. Total prize money at this Pokemon tournament alone is over half a million dollars. Gaming is fast becoming a lucrative profession. The winners of this year's US Open tennis tournament collected a check for nearly $4 million. In July, a 16-year-old won the Fortnite video game competition in this very stadium and walked away with the $3 million prize. Analytics firm Yuzu believes global eSport audiences will top 450 million this year. Fueled largely by sponsorship deals, Nuzu predicts global esports revenue will exceed $1 billion in 2019. With sponsors and advertisers, uh, you're seeing the fact that they really want to capture the next generation of viewers, and that's Gen Z. And Gen Z is really focused on esports, uh, they, they enjoy it. And I think you see a rush of sponsors and advertisers thinking from this was a kid's pursuit to now saying, well, these kids are actually growing up and they have purchasing power. In the US, over 130 universities and colleges have partnered with the National Association of Collegiate Esports. They offer over $15 million in financial aid and scholarships. Some believe linking gaming prowess with a path to higher education could become a game changer in the growth of the esports industry. William Denslow, TRT World, New York.